Welcome to the ASMR Cafe. Have you ever been here before? No? Okay. This is a very unique cafe, and as you may have heard, we have the most spectacular pastries and the most delicious coffee in the most calm, relaxing environment you can find anywhere in the city. Yes. Wonderful. Well, I'm so glad that you could join us today. It, will it be just yourself today? Oh, you have a friend joining you. All right. That's wonderful. Uh, I can help you here if you like, or you can go and sit at the table and just order something from the menu and a waitress will come by. You would like to do it here? Okay, great. I can tell you a little bit about some of our products. Uh, here, which I can't do f uh, over at your table, so that's a good choice if you're the if you're here for the first time. Uh, what are you interested in today? Are you interested in coffee or tea? Coffee, okay. And do you know what your friend would be interested in? Possibly tea, okay. We have both of those, of course, and uh, we get. A beautiful coffee that is roasted in the Rocky Mountains. Yes, it's organic coffee. It's quite wonderful. I'll show you. I'll show you what looks like it. This is one of the, the types of the coffee. And we have a few different types of this coffee. This one is called C Wrangler. And this is an organic whole bean coffee. Uh, this is a medium roast. And it's described as bold, sweet, and courageous. Yes. Very interesting descriptions of this coffee. Ah. Uh, yes, I actually have some that I just poured out here. And then you can actually smell it if you would like. Sure. Just open it up here. As you can see, the beans are dark and rich and oily. And that means that they are full of flavor. And you can see how beautiful those beans are. like to smell them. Doesn't that smell really good? A beautiful roasting, uh, roasted flavor. Mm. This is one of my favorites. Now we have another type of uh, I'll just get it for you. This one is called the Pacific Pipeline. And this one is also an organic coffee. And they describe on the package uh, that this coffee is a medium roast as well. And it is full-bodied, tropical, and exotic. And I really do quite like this one as well. And if you want, I can give you a smell of what that smells like as well. Would you like to smell that? recommend smelling the coffees because you can actually pick up a lot of the notes uh, in the coffee. You can pick up often notes of chocolate or clove or um, leather sometimes, tobacco, and lots of other types of flavors, even more fruity flavors like papaya and pineapple. Oh. 
so nice. And it just has a beautiful bean as well, as you can see. I love the smell of this. Isn't that nice? Yes, I love it too. And you can see that this has a, um, the beans are actually two different colors because one is a slightly lighter colored bean. And that's because this one is half decaffeinated, actually. So if you are not looking for a lot of caffeine, if you just want something that's really beautiful and gentle to get started with the day, then this is a great coffee to do that. And I frequently start off with this coffee myself and then later on I'll have something that's full caffeine if I need it but often I find that this one is just enough actually it's also a very mellow flavor there's not a lot of bitterness because this is a medium roast and the some of the beans as I said are decaffeinated so it doesn't have quite as bitter of a background note to it. Now, if you are looking for something that is completely decaffeinated, I also have one of their coffees that is decaffeinated as well. I'll show it to you. This is the decaffeinated one, and this is uh, a Swiss water process for decaffeination, which is the most natural process. It leaves behind all of the flavor of the coffee without washing that away, and there are no chemicals used to decaffeinate the beans. These are also organic beans as well. I sometimes have to caffeinate it. If I'm feeling up for coffee after dinner, for example, I will often use this decaffeinated coffee because it is so delicious. It has full-bodied flavor. Uh, you would never tell that it's decaffeinated. You would like to go with the Pacific Pipeline? Okay, that's a good choice. Okay, I'm going to brew your coffee uh, in a French press. We believe that for these particular beans, the French press is the best, and it extracts the most flavor from these beans in, into the water when you pour the boiling water over the freshly ground uh, beans. Is that all right? Okay, great. Do you usually use a French press at home for your own coffee? You do? Okay, so you know. Yeah, I agree. I think it's one of the best methods. You do get all of the flavor from the beans, and when it sits in the water for a few minutes, it has time to extract all that flavor. Okay, so I'm going to grind your coffee by hand. We have a whole bunch of these grinders, these hand grinders, and we only put one type of coffee into each of these grinders. That way, you don't get any other flavors from other coffee beans. 
and you get the pure flavor of that one type of coffee bean that you choose. It's also good for people who want decaf because then they're assured of not getting any caffeinated coffee uh, granules in their coffee as well. All right? So I'm just gonna fill up the hopper here with these Pacific Pipeline beans. How strong do you like your coffee, by the way? You like it fairly strong? Okay. I'm going to fill it all the way to the top then. Those beans have been freshly ground. Mm, can you smell it over there? It smells really good. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to put the coffee in here. It smells amazing, doesn't it? You can smell it from there, can you? Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna go get some boiling water. Okay. Got the water here, and I got some nice hot milk as well. Boiling. So, let me just pour.
and just kind of plunge that just a little bit just to keep the grounds submerged inside the water, okay? Set this down over here. And let me just froth your milk for you as well. Nice frothy milk. Okay, I'll put this down over here for the moment. Now, while this is brewing, can I interest you in one of our homemade pastries? Yes. I don't know how you can resist. They look amazing, don't they? Well, let me tell you about this one first. This is our tiramisu cake, and it's actually made with Kahlua liqueur, which is a coffee liqueur. And it goes beautifully with coffee, of course. And it has um, mascarpone cheese, layers of it, with um, a little bit of uh, shaved chocolate over top. It's absolutely delicious. And I know that they're delicious because I make all the pastries myself. Yes, I do. I'm here very early every morning to make all the pastries. That's why I have these big bags under my eyes. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, I don't get quite enough sleep. Now, over here, I have a few different types of pastries as well. These are called Macaroon Madness Bars. They sort of have, um, they're made with the same type of ingredients as macaroons. They have a little bit of coconut in them, and they have a little bit of caramel and chocolate. They are absolutely delicious. And they smell amazing too. Do you want to smell them? Aren't they great? Anyway. This is one of my favorites. Now, we have sort of a classic for uh, a French cafe, which is croissant. And these have been freshly baked this morning. And yes, I bake them myself. And they are beautiful, flaky, buttery croissants. And they go beautifully with, um, you can just eat them on their own, or you can add some jam and some clotted cream with them as well if you want. Okay, that's one off. I also have here some very classic chocolate chip cookies. And these are made with a very special dough that sits in the refrigerator overnight to age. And when it sits in the fridge overnight, it does something to the flavors that makes them so much more rich and uh, intense. You're gonna, you're gonna, you've never tasted a chocolate chip cookie like this before, I guarantee you. So that's an option. And then I have these beautiful little apple fritters, and they're just sort of apple, an, uh, apples in a puff pastry, and sprinkled with a little bit of sugar on top of them as well, and they have cinnamon as well. These go great with coffee. In fact, all of these pastries are absolutely delicious with coffee 
or tea. You would like to have, oh, you would like two, okay. You would like one of the apple fritter, okay. And one of the macaroon bars. That's an excellent choice. Okay, let me just get a plate. Just hand that to you. I have your coffee brewing here. Would you like to order something for your friend now, or would you like to wait until they get here? You'll order, okay, you know what they want. Okay, so tell me what they would like. Spice tea, I see, okay. That's an excellent choice. I've got that right here. As you probably know, this is a spice tea that we make uh, right here. It's our own blend here in the cafe. And it is a really rich, robust tea. And it's made with carob, allspice, malt, and uh, cinnamon. And I, I believe it also has a little bit of... Um, a little bit of orange, dried orange peel in there as well. It's absolutely wonderful. So let me just brew this up for your friend right now while I have the hot water right here. Doesn't that smell nice? You can smell all of those spices. And amazingly, when you brew this, it looks like coffee because it's so robust. So if your friend is also a coffee lover, they're gonna love this, and obviously they must be because you said that they do like this, right? Yes, okay. Well, let me just get a, a French press. We also brew that in a French press as well. So I'm going to get a clean one. These, by the way, these French presses are never used for coffee. We only use these French presses for the spice tea, okay? So you never get contamination. Oh, hang on, I'm just going to put this little grinder back. spice tea at all. So I'm going to put a few spoons. spoons of that in there. Let's see, I think one more.
Okay. Still have the boiling water here. So I'm just going to let that brew right here, and your coffee's about ready. So I'm going to pour your coffee now, okay? Okay, it's looking really good. I'm just going to plunge that down all the way. Just go very slowly. If you go too quickly, it releases a lot of the bitter notes out of the grounds. But if you go nice and slow, it only releases most beautiful flavors out of those grounds. Okay. Would you like to put any sugar in your coffee? You would? Okay. I recommend that you use a brown sugar in your coffee, and I'll show you the one that I like the best. It's this one right here. This is an organic brown sugar um, that we get from Brazil. It's an absolutely beautiful sugar. It's light and fluffy, uh, and it's got all of the flavors of the sugar in there because they haven't been uh, extracted out of them, like they are for white sugar. Would you like to me to put a spoonful of this in your coffee? You would? Okay. Is that good? Is that good? All right. There we are. Okay, now let me put some of your milk in there as well and some of your froth. I'm just going to froth it up a little bit more. So put some of your milk on top. There we go. That looks fantastic. Do you want me to give this to you right now? Okay. There you go. Oh, I, I see that your friend has arrived. Would you like me to pour their tea now? Okay, sure, sure. That looks like it's ready now. That's a nice, dark, rich tea, isn't it? the rest here if they would like more. 
Shall I give that to you? Okay. There you go. Okay. Now, would your friend like a pastry of any kind? Okay. Sure. Absolutely. You would like to get a croissant? Okay. Okay, let me get one of those for you. Okay, is there anything else for your friend? No? Oh, you think they might like a piece of this? tiramisu cake as well. I mean, to be honest, even though it has coffee in it, that particular tea that they're drinking has carob in it, which is a very coffee-like flavor. It would go just fine with that spiced tea. Okay, sure. We do have a whole bookcase over there of books if you and your friend would like to pick a book to read. Yes, and actually, I have a few right here if I can recommend one to you. This is a fantastic book. Uh, this one is called The Maltese Falcon by Dashiell Hammett. And it's a... Uh, it's an absolutely wonderful book. This goes great with coffee. The words are so evocative of so many amazing stories. You're, you will absolutely love this one. Now, I also have another book here. This one is called The Picture of Dorian Gray, and this is by Oscar Wilde. And this is actually a limited edition book, and uh, I don't think it's even been read yet, to be honest. It's a brand new, um, it's a brand new addition to our cafe library, and you might enjoy reading this one as well, or maybe your friend would enjoy reading it, or I've got one more. This is the works of Edgar Allan Poe, and it is, I don't know if it's the complete works, but there's quite a few of them in here and uh, works such as The Mystery of Marie Roger, Eleonora, The Island of the Fay, The Murders in the Rue Morgue, The Fall of the House of Usher, and lots more. So this is, these are great books. Are, do any of those interest you, or would you rather just take a look at what's over there? You want the Maltese Falcon? Sure. Okay. You can actually, when you're finished with this, you can just leave it in the bookcase up there. You don't have to bring it back over here, okay? You're welcome. So is there anything else that I can get you? No? Okay. Well, please enjoy your coffee and your tea and your pastries. And if you need anything else, just give me a call, okay? All right. You're welcome. Thank you for stopping by the cafe.